Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Now let us begin with question number 41. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm calling to see if our club might be able to reserve your restaurant for a private dinner party. Your cashier said you sometimes do that. Yes, in the evenings. We're only open for breakfast and lunch, but we do take reservations for dinner parties. Do you have a dinner menu? How does that work? You can choose from our menu or we can help you put one together. But we'll need a minimum of 30 guests and at least two days' notice. What are your dates and how many people are you expecting? Number 41. What is true about the restaurant? Number 42. What will the woman be required to do? Number 43. What does the man want to know? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. I really like this song. Who sings it? It's Maya. This is one of the songs on their latest album. They're my all-time favorite group. I saw them live last year and they were fantastic, dressed up in the craziest outfits you've ever seen. So what do you think of them? Their lyrics are really good, but there's too much bass for my taste. You wouldn't happen to have this album, would you? I'd like to hear a bit more from them before I buy it. Not this one yet, but I've got their first one if you want to borrow it. Number 44. What is true about Maya? Number 45. What does the man like about Maya? Number 46. What does the woman offer to do? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Jennifer. Tracy told me that you're going to be presenting in Tokyo next week. I just gave a similar talk a few weeks ago, and I thought you might be able to use my slides and handouts. Really? That would be great. I was actually worried about finding the time to put the presentation together. I mean, I have some material, but it's not really ready yet. Well, I think you can probably take what I've got and make some minor adjustments. I'll drop everything by your office this afternoon. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Number 47. Why has the man gone to see the woman? Number 48. How does the woman feel? Number 49. What does the man say he will do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Have they selected a winner yet? I'm not sure. They said they'd be sending out notices sometime this week. Well, I'm sure you won. Your photos are amazing, especially the one of the runner crossing the finish line in that race. How could they not pick you? Well, I don't know. There's a lot of competition. Number 50. 
What are the speakers discussing? Number 51. What is probably true about the man? Number 52. What best describes the man's character? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Is Vicky still looking for a job? There's a position opening up in my department that she might be interested in. Yes, actually she is. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, they're looking for someone to fill in temporarily for one of the accountants who's going on maternity leave. I thought with Vicky's background, she might fit in well. It sounds like a good opportunity, but it's also only temporary. Vicky's looking for something permanent, but thanks for thinking of her. Number 53. What does the woman say about the job? Number 54. What is true about Vicky? Number 55. What is the man's opinion about the job? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Deborah, welcome back. How was the trip? How was the flight? Long. Nine hours nonstop. But New York was great. Two whole weeks of shopping and seeing friends. I didn't check my email the whole time I was there. I'm almost afraid to now. So you probably don't know that we have a meeting with Lewis tomorrow at nine. And you're supposed to make a presentation. Looks like I won't be leaving early tonight. Number 56. What is true about the woman? Number 57. What does the woman find out? Number 58. What will the woman probably do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. I'm here about your tire replacement offer. Four four-ply all-weather tires for four fifty, including installation and balancing. Is that right? Well, the tires are four fifty, but installation and balancing are another hundred. I'm afraid our advertising company didn't make that clear in the ads. Oh. Still, five fifty isn't bad. Can you take me now and get me out of here before one? I've got a two o'clock meeting across town. Sorry, but it's already eleven o'clock and there are four people ahead of you. Why not make an appointment now so you're first in line tomorrow? Number 59. Where is this conversation taking place? Number 60. When is this conversation probably taking place? Number 61. What does the woman suggest that the man do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. I had a look at the new website. It's good, very attractive, and hard to believe we did it all in-house. It's a huge improvement over the old design. Yes, we've got some good people in both IT and advertising. What I'd like to see now is some promotion. Let's get it up on some social media sites like FaceFact and Whisper, and maybe some of the professional ones, too. I'll look into it. 
we can all join one and then mention our site in our profiles. I hate social media sites, but they're good for free advertising. Number 62. What can be inferred about the company's website? Number 63. What does the woman ask the man to do with the website? Number 64. What does the man say about social media sites? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Ah, oh, no, I've ripped my jacket. Guess I'll have to get a new one. Let me take a look at it. Oh, that's nothing. I'm sure it can be fixed. To tell you the truth, I was getting tired of this jacket anyway. It's never fit me that well, and I've never really liked the collar. Well, don't throw it away. At least donate it to a charity organization. Number 65. What can be inferred about the man? Number 66. What does the man say about his jacket? Number 67. What does the woman imply? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. Have you heard back from the advertising agency yet? It's been over a month since we've received anything from them. I know. I've emailed them and left messages with them, but they never respond. I think we should start looking for another agency. It may come to that, but why don't you try calling them one more time? Number 68. What is the problem? Number 69. What does the woman suggest they do? Number 70. What does the man ask the woman to do?